Hey guys, so I am back again to give you a school organization video. I've already done a what's in my school bag, uh, which hasn't changed except for that I'm using a new bag. <laughs> and this is the new bag that I'm using. I'm trying to scoot backwards. It has my initials on it, which are LCG. LCG. Um, it's very pretty, and it's big, nice and big, so it fits everything. Um, so yeah, that is the bag I'm using now. I'm going to link my what's in my bag, my school bag video, um, in the bottom bar below. And <coughs> um, if y'all are wondering what I keep in my bag, you can look there, um, because it hasn't changed, like, at all. Um... So, first things first is um, how I organize my classes. Now, um, from what I've seen of YouTube school organization videos, there are like three options that people give people. I'm not sure what really makes sense, but you know, three options. There's the binder method, the notebook method, and the folder method. So, I use folders, and I will show you what I keep them in. Whoa. So this is a little magazine folder, I guess you could call it. Um, yeah, magazine folder. I don't know, whatever. It's one of these things. Um, it was white, as you can see by the bottom. I got it at the container store, and it's $14.99. Again, um, it's this pattern, but it was white. And, which you can see by the little chips that are coming off of the paint. I'll have to repaint that this summer. But anyways, it was white. I painted it black because my room is more black than it is white. It's black, white, and teal, but I like black better than white. And then they look better in black, personally. So I just spray painted them outside. So this holds my folders. Uh, I have four. And they're different colors. So I have a, blue, a purple one, a kind of tealy one, a pink and a red. And I'll go over those in a second. Let me show you where I keep my books. All right, so in my room, or in our dorm rooms, we have these bookshelves right here. I'm trying to see, make sure that it's in the frame. There we go. So these bookshelves, so starting with that calculus book and going to the Harper Study Bible, those are my books for this semester. Okay, so first things first, what I think you need to maximize your organization, Sharpies. And a bag like this. No, I'm just kidding. Um, what's in this bag is what you need. Lots and lots of Post-its. Post-its are the your, will become your best friend if you want to get organized. So, so I'll show you the kind of post-its that I use. I use all different kinds. I use a lot. So, all right. I have basic flags, big basic flags, um, arrow flags and highlighters. Uh, I have more highlighters. Which, these don't exactly fit in this plastic thing, but I put them in there just because I wanted to. I have little black things that came out of pins that... Were they pins or highlighters? Pins that stopped writing. So I just saved all those post-it notes. Because uh, you can never waste a post-it note. That's just blasphemy. I have mini labels. Yellow and white. I have big labels. Blue and yellow. Um, I have these nifty things, which I love these. These are little post-it super sticky, I don't even remember what they call them, like note markers or something. But basically this part right here is not sticky. So you can see. And then the rest of it's sticky, and so you can stick this in your book and write a note on it, and then this tab sits outside of the book. Genius! Um, I have big durable tabs, 
I have the normal size of Durbobil tabs, lots of them. I use these all the time. These I run out of the most. These are imperative. Um, I have some kind of cute like stickies, but these are actually useful cute stickies. So, um, arrows, just different colors. Um, they came in a block and I just separated the block. Um, I have, these are called pop-up page markers. Uh, this is brilliant because it's got flags and then two different sizes of just regular post-its in a little thing. And then I have the post-it note cards. Super sticky note cards. And these are thick, like, like real... 3x7 or whatever it is, 3x5 note cards, but they have sticky on them. So that's brilliant. Oh, and I have some more from a pin. So little red flags that are a little bit thinner than normal flags. Like, I'll show you a normal flag. So that's a normal flag. And here's the red flags. See, they're a little skinnier whatever. So I have lots and lots and lots of those. Now, the reason why you need Sharpies, I do like big markets. If you have an issue with big markets, I don't care. Um, I just think they have better colors than Sharpie does. I think Sharpies are better, but I like their colors. So I go with the colors. Um, for these, when I put them on my books, I usually put a label. Uh, and I use colored Sharpies that correspond with the color. So if I'm doing a red one, it's going to be written in red. If I'm doing an orange one, it'll be written in orange. A green, green, you get the picture. Because I am OCD about these kind of things. I don't really have OCD, but, you know, some people are just really organized. That's me. Um. Uh, Moving on, I spent like eight minutes introducing and then also talking about post-it notes. So, um, let's go with folders. So I'm going to start off with this folder. So this one right here is my uh, Math 185. That has my name, so I'm hiding it. Math 185, which is Calc 1 at my school. So, um, again, hiding my name. So right over here in this folder, I have, so these are um, five star like plastic folders, they're really nice. Um, so I have, oh, my name, I have to blank that out somehow. Um, so this is my homework that's due tomorrow. I have more blank paper behind here and some little helper things. And then only up there. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> this is the syllabus for the course. So, and I use these little page protectors in every folder, and I only use these for everything. So everything goes in a folder, a page protector. So there we have that. So that's the whole thing. And then I have a little large durable sticky right here durable tab right there and it says schedule because this is the class schedule for the semester so this tells me what I need to read for what day of lecture we're off of this but I know how far off we are so I can judge like we should be at 2.1 but we're still at 1.5 1.6 so all right, so then we've rolled it over and we have a homework tab for a return to homework. And then we have a quizzes and tests tab for return quizzes and tests. And then we have the notes tab, which the notes start on this page right here. So I type my notes for every class. Um, if you need to know how to type notes for math and you want me to kind of do a video on that, I can try. Post a comment below if you really want that or not. Basically use symbols in Word if that helps you. Um, and then also up here, I have a little tab. And this one says, you're not going to be able to see it, but it says 1.1. 1 .1. 
so 1.1. And then if I pick this tab right here, and I flip to that, this is the notes for 1.2 to 1.4. And then so right here, my notes are organized by 1.2 through 1.4. So 1.2 shows up somewhere on the notes, which is there. And then 1.3 shows up somewhere. So I have a sticky where 1.3 is. So I just can turn straight to it. And that's just a normal flag, not a durable flag or anything. So 1.3 is down here. And then 1.4 is on the next page. Over right there. So that's how I do it. Um, the pictures... When I'm in class and listening to lecture, I just say, insert pic of this. And then when I get back to my room, I search it on Google and um, use my textbook to make sure I'm getting the right picture and then just paste it in there. So that's how that folder works. Now each folder is going to work differently because each class is obviously different. So I'll show you another folder, which is a lot simpler because a simpler class. So this is for Core 110. My, my uh, school has these classes called Core. Um, they suck. Whatever. So again, syllabus, there's paper on this side. This syllabus starts over here, but my school name is on there, so I don't really want to do that. Let me make sure our school name's not on here. It's not. Is it? No. So this is the syllabus. So this is a little bit more detailed. And again, I have a little thing right here that says course outline because in this one, he has said that it is called the course outline. So I use their terminology that I know what to call it when the professor asks me something. When I ask them something about, say, the course outline. And then I have my notes. So you'll notice that each page of notes is taken in the color of folder that that course is. So these are taken in pink because this course is in pink, a pink folder. So that helps me color coordinate so that um, if my notes ever fall out, I know which class they go with. Um, plus I just like everything color coordinated. So another course is my computer science course. So we'll look at that one now. This will probably go into two video, two parts. Sorry about that, but CS120. And then I have paper over here. Oh, crud. I needed to give him that. So I have loose leaf paper over here. Um, the syllabus. And then for this one, um, I need to have a space for programs so that I can put all the programs that we work on for homework or whatever. Um, so this one was a homework, and then this one was a homework, and then this one, and this one, and this one we did in class. So that one doesn't really, I don't, I just figured out how to get it to print in color, so that's why that one's in color. And then again, I have a little thing that says chapter one. And then here I have one that says notes. Now, a lot of times I do mind maps, which look like this. Ooh, that's upside down. Which looks like this. So it says chapter one and then it goes out from there. Um, mind maps help me. I usually do mind maps for my um, readings of the chapter because I can it's just one page and I can look at it and be okay I know what we're talking about um, so I usually do mind maps when I read and then um, stick them in so this is the mind map for chapter one and then this is chapter two which I haven't made a um, little thing for yet but I will I haven't put a tab up here for so this is chapter two and um, we haven't read chapter two yet we're supposed to read it for this next um, lecture. Um, he just got ahead. He didn't have anything to talk about and he didn't want to let us out so he started talking about chapter two. So we just started taking notes on chapter two without having read it, which is fine. So I picked my calculus 
and my computer science. Sorry. Um, my calculus and my computer science books because they're quite different in how they're done. So anyways, up here you'll notice that I have orange um, tabbies. That's for chapter one. And then back here you'll notice I have blue tabbies who are the appendixes, the appendices, and the answers. Um, and then you'll notice over here I have one of those little other tabbies I was talking about. So we'll go ahead and open up. So currently it is on 1.5. I've not read that yet. It's due tomorrow. I'm going to read it tomorrow morning. Class is at 9. I don't care. Um, <laughs> I'm being very bad. I should not do that, but I'm going to. Um, and then basically, so this book cost me 200 bucks just for this book. <laughs> yeah, I know. It's ridiculous, all right? Um, so I want to sell this book back because I'm never going to use this book again. Um, a lot of my other books I just keep because I might use them again, um, especially my programming books because you never know when you're going to come back and you need to program in a certain language. Yes, the programming is, the language might change a little bit, but it's still helpful to have the like, syntax and basic layout of how stuff goes because that doesn't really ever change. Not dramatically, at least. So, this is how I get away with still marking up my books, but not marking them up, really. So, I use lots and lots of post-its. That's why post-its are essential <laughs> for school organization. Um, so, I use lots of post-its. Um, you can do mind maps. If you're going to do a mind map for math, um, I'd say do it off your post-its. I don't really do mind maps for math. I just look back over what I've marked with my post-its. So you can see lots and lots of post-its. There's a post-it down there, I swear. There's lots of post-its. Um, so tons and tons of post-its everywhere. Post-its everywhere. Um, so that is how I do that. Now, if you have a book like, say, computer science book, interesting intro to C++ program. Yay! Um, you might not have to worry about that. So, what I have up here is color coordinated chapters. So chapters 1 through 9. And then over here I have color coordinated tabbies for each different chapter. And then over here I have appendix B or Appendix A and Appendix B. So if we open up to Chapter 1, since that's the one we've already done and I haven't read Chapter 2 yet, you'll see that I have Chapter 1 at the top, right here. And then over here on the sides, I have 1.1, 1.2, 1.3, 1.4, and then I would have 1.5 examples, except for there were no examples for this. So you can see that I did mark up this book, um, but I still use lots of post-its. So these are the highlighter post-its um, that you can see through, and I write on those a lot um, because you can still see through it even with the writing. Um, so yeah, anyway, highlighter post-its, anything else that you need to see, and then again, I have another one of these with the chapter that needs to be read and a box when it needs to be read by and a box to check it off with. So that's how I do with most of my books is I do mark with them and then I also use post-its a lot too. So that's that. Sorry. Um, she always texts me before she goes to sleep and so I always text her back. Um, She's going to bed now. It's 10 30. It's her bedtime. Um, <laughs> oh, hold on. Let me see what she said. And I always tell her to give my little babies a hug and a kiss. Because uh, Callie is technically my dog. Um, we, bought, we got her as a family dog, but she really bonded to me. And um, 
she didn't really bond to anybody else besides me um, as much. And so um, when I get my own house or something, she's going to come live with me. So she's really my baby. Really is my baby. Even though she is my baby. Okay, never mind. Um, anyway, so it's important to stay organized with a planner. Mine is actually on my computer, so I can't exactly show it to you. If you have a Mac, go to the App Store. It's new. If you haven't updated your computer in a while, you're going to need to update your computer. Um, so that annoying little update thing, just update. After this video, of course, because you have to close everything out. So wait till this video's over, and then, I'm just kidding, <laughs> you can do it now if you want. Um, you'll need to update, and then you can go look at the App Store, and um, search Schoolhouse, and it'll come up. It just has a little blue chair with a black desktop. It's like the, one of those chairs that has a desk connected to it, and the chair is blue, and the desk is black. Whatever. Um, and it just, it keeps your class schedule and then all of your homework. So all of my stuff is on there and I don't have to worry about it because it's all there and I take my computer to every class with me. So the second I get a homework, boom, it goes into Schoolhouse. Um, so I never have to worry about losing anything. If you have a PC, I don't know. Uh, if you have, I think, Blackberry has the same app too. If you um, have an iPhone, the app that I would recommend is um, is sorry, my school's app is on there too. Is um, this one right here? It's called iStudies Pro. I think it's like two ninety nine. Totally worth it. Um, I don't know of one that is free that's really good. Um, I've tried tons and tons. I've paid probably over $100 worth of money trying to find the perfect school apps, and I think I found them. So uh, Schoolhouse and iStudies Pro are the best. Um, if you don't have anything that has apps, I don't know what to tell you except for um, I really love planners like this. Or keeping your schedule like basically what is um, going on in your day um, and then I really love planners that just have like spaces for each day um, for homework but that requires you to keep two if you don't like to keep two you can always just um, put your homework at the bottom of this one I'll work sign too um, so yeah, I think that's all of my organizational tips, post-it, post-its, post-its, they're important, I know they're expensive, but they're important to make your parents buy them for you, <laughs> um, just kidding, I'm, I'm, oh, people are probably going to think that I'm not kidding, but I'm really kidding, <laughs> um, my parents buy them for me because it's a school necessity for me to stay organized, so they buy them for me. But, I mean, if your parents aren't willing to buy them for you and you have money to buy them, then buy them. If you don't, then I don't know what to tell you. Um, but um, just sticking note pages in a, pa in a book is really easy, too. You can just stick a s sheet of paper in a book, and that works, too, um, if you need to. I just like post-its because I don't have to worry, I don't have to fuddle, it's just there and I can just pull it and go. You'll notice that I don't waste my post-its. I actually, um, if one, if I accidentally pull one out or something, I actually put them on the sides of the things so that I can pull them first and then the next one. Because I don't like to waste my post-its, okay people? I'm very, I love my post-its okay they are my thing um so anyways i've got to go i think this video is going to be like 40 minutes long which is really really annoying so i'm gonna have to edit this and um figure out what i'm gonna do so i hope that was helpful my um college tips video will be coming up i'll probably film that tomorrow feeling a little tired now excuse me feeling a little tired after doing this whole thing. So um, I'll probably film that tomorrow and then look for it to be up tomorrow afternoon or evening. So I hope y'all have a great day.
if you're in school, I hope school's going well. Um, let me know what you think about this in the comments below, and I'll talk to y'all later. Bye, guys.